Hi guys, welcome. Okay, today I'm spending the night at um, in Ayamensa Park. And so, um, hello. hello. Oh my gosh, I've got some excited children here. Wow. We are scared Come of on. lizards. Hey, no, you shouldn't be drinking that. Hey, you're not even holding it properly. That's not how you do it. Oh, oh my no. goodness. I'm so giga, you Mom, you go first. You go first. Little Are you guys scared of a go. tiny lizard? It's not tiny. Oh, it's huge. It's, it's orange head. Head. Go. Go. It's an orange oh. head. Okay, it's an orange head. It's humongous. It's not. Oh. It's you guys are exaggerating. Isn't it? Are you trying to scare me? That's like. Come on. Where is it? There's no lizard here. I don't know what they're talking if it runs about. Down here, step on the table. Where? Come on. Mom, Stop being. Mom. There's nothing here. These guys are just scaring you for no reason. Go on, Jaden. Go on. It's not here. Oh. You don't know where the house is. Oh my goodness. Watch him. Don't just run off and leave him. Karis, can you slow down? You guys can see what I've got ahead of me. These children are just way excited, way too excited. So yesterday, um, I'd known about this little trip that we were doing for a while, for about a week actually. And um, I didn't want to tell the children because otherwise, you know how it is with children. They won't sleep, they can't do this, they can't do that, you know. So I told them yesterday because I had to get them to start packing. And um, as soon as I told them, I didn't hear the end of it. So to this morning, they woke up super early, obviously. And they, um, they were like, oh, mum, is it time to go here? Is it time to go here? So... The car came to pick us up around 12.30, something like that. And literally, I've just um, finished shooting a video all about just a little tour of this place, basically, because I haven't been here for a while. Um, so I did a little tour of the place and the house that we'll be staying in and all the rest of it. And um, the children have been pestering me. They're like, oh, have you finished yet, Mum? Because we want to go swimming. And so that's where. Where are you going? Lost. See, I told you, you don't know where you are. Do you? Like, I know where I am. I forget I'm fully legit, right? I'm like the same bike as you. Really? Exactly the same. Oh, okay. <gasps> I'm legit, right? I came out, I was filming around here with my videographer, and um, I couldn't remember the house. I left the children in the house, and I couldn't, oh, my arm's really hurting me. And I couldn't remember which house it was. And I legit put my keys into the wrong door and I was trying to open it. It didn't open, obviously. But then I realised that something wasn't right. And then we walked around and we found that's the right house. house. Yeah, that's so, <laughs> little, little story time there for you. The children are finally in their pool. They're finally in their haven. Um, they're having fun. Hello. I'm just standing here watching. I'm just getting used to uh, the water. You're getting used to the water. You haven't been swimming for a while, I'll isn't it? I'll be the first to duck my face in. No, I'll be the first. I'll be the second. Ready, Mom? Yeah. I'll be the second. Mom. Hi. I'm second. Wow. I'm going to go. Ready? Mommy, Mommy, I Hey, there she goes. You didn't swim very far. I know. <laughs> if it's too deep that way, go this way. Wait, all the way there? No, go back this all way. Right, ready? <gasps> Oh, well, he's going. He's doing it. Hey, that's swimming lessons Mommy. for you. No, give me I don't put my feet on. Oh, you put your feet there. All right, go on then. Hey, are you swimming or sinking? <laughs> hey, which technique is this you're using? Which technique is that? Oh, me, I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I cannot lie, it's been a long day. Very long day, yes. It's been a very long day. Um, I have to, it's been non-stop since morning. But it's cool, because this evening I plan on relaxing a little bit. And I think once they're out of the pool, I'll leave them, just because a couple of these children can't swim. I don't want to leave them, just for that reason. Otherwise, trust me, I would not be sitting here right now. I'd be inside inside the AC where it's nice and cool but um, because the little one's here I don't want to leave him out here while he can't swim not that I could help him if he was anything was to happen because I can't swim oh wow yeah so I'll be here for a little while I guess mm. 
These are the same children that were afraid of the water just not too long ago. Now they're doing everything. Yes, baby. You alright? You're swimming? Wow, wow, good job. He said he's swimming. He's not he's not swimming. He's swimming. Again? Alright. Yep. Don't run, you hurt yourself. So um, I'm back inside. I sat outside with the children um, by the pool for some time and then I, I got tired and I was like, I'm going in. And then they all said, oh, I'm going in. And then it became something else. But anyway, they've all showered and changed. They're all fresh. And they have gone outside to play because they saw Jordan. And so they are all outside playing in the park and so I've left them to it. This is really strange for me because um, I'm used to a lot of noise and I almost feel like I've got some work to do but apart from that I almost feel like I don't know what to do with myself because if I was, I was at home I'd probably be cleaning and stuff like that but because obviously I'm not in my own house I don't really need to clean so um, I'm kind of like lost but the good thing is they have Netflix so I'm about to watch something on Netflix but it's kind of weird but it's actually nice to be able to just let them out and know that you know security won't just let them go through the gate and just wander off onto the street so they're all together and they're having fun it's unusual this is such a nice thing to be able to just let the children go free and not have to worry about it too much so they are they're doing well man they're doing well and i'm good the only thing is that they've left all their suitcases here on the floor which i did tell them about before they went outside but still they haven't done it and <sighs> caris is the worst one i have to say man she's the worst one because she's got this creative gene in her. She's always doing stuff. Let me just show you her suitcase. She's going to really, she's not going to be happy with me for this. But I'm going to show you guys anyway, right? I've got to show you her suitcase. This is her suitcase here. Look. This is her suitcase on the floor, right? That's it. And she's got like colouring pencils, books, all of that stuff. I mean, she's got clothes in there and she's got multiple options of clothes. I'm like, why well, only go for one night? Why have you bought so many clothes? I mean, I've never done such a thing like that before in my life. I don't do such things. But that's what she's done. And obviously, she's got all her books and colouring pictures. She even bought scissors. Scissors. She intends to be here with paper and pencils and be cutting things out. Anyway, who am I to stand in the way of creativity, eh? But yeah, um... Yeah, so it's really interesting. It's quite nice because it kind of gives me a feel for what things will be like once we have our own place as well. Obviously, um, our house is a bit bigger than this. We'll have more bedrooms and everyone will have their own bedrooms. This is only a two bedroom. So for us, it's a little bit small, but for someone else, it's probably perfect, perfect amount of space. So yeah, let's just see how the night goes. I think, I don't know. I don't know if they're even gonna come in. It's like four o'clock now. I'm gonna have to try and maybe order some food to come. Because I ain't cooking nothing here and I don't, I'm really not prepared anyway. So I'll order something for the children to eat. But I think I'm going to have to end up going outside and looking for them. Because I reckon that's how excited they are and that's how deep it's going to be. So I don't know. Let's see. Sewing kit. Look. My girls bought a sewing kit. My days. Good morning, guys. I'm talking very quietly because my son is asleep on the sofa. He um, went to bed so late last night and he woke up extremely early this morning and then fell asleep again. So he's asleep on the sofa. Um, I need to get myself ready as well. I had a pretty good night's sleep. The children have already gone outside to play. As soon as they got up this morning, they were like, Mum, can we go outside? So they had a shower, had something to eat quickly and they were this never happens, so this is like, wow, amazing. So yeah, I've got a couple things I need 
need to do this this morning work wise so I'm gonna get on with that and they're gonna be outside playing which is awesome okay good morning guys oh gosh my children are still scaring off lizards okay well yes yeah, so I'm dressed and up now so last night we had a pretty good night's sleep I think everyone did I'm just looking Karis that's someone's house Karis Anyway, the children, um, last night it started raining here and so they came and they dumped their bikes at the front of the house and they just left right here, right here. Hey, I'm not and it's still, still there this morning. I mean, that just shows you that this area is really, really safe because anywhere else, trust me, those bikes would be gone. They, they would be gone. When I, um, where we live at the moment, when our fence wall was a bit lower, someone actually jumped over, stole the children's bikes and left with them. Imagine that's with a fence wall. There's no fence wall here. It's pretty open. Um, if you can see over my shoulder, this whole area is just open. So each compound doesn't have, have its own thing. So um, yeah, security just patrols at night. I mean, it's been, it's been really good because actually I felt really comfortable here. I always have this thing about estates where I feel like, gated communities where I feel like, um, things can happen because we've been in a gated community before and we've been robbed but here it just feels so safe um, in fact it never even crossed my mind last night at all and I'm a bit of a warrior but it isn't and you see security um, patrolling the area as well at night time so I feel pretty good I mean um, I ordered some food yesterday as well and they wouldn't even let the delivery driver through the gate that just shows how tight it is and um, they had to call me and I had to verify and everything before he was allowed to enter so hey it's good, eh? But anyway, I'm just heading down to the park with the children. I thought you didn't want to go through the alley. No, I'm going that way. Okay. They don't, they don't want to walk through the alley because there are um, loads of bushes and there are lizards in there. And I don't know why they're scared of lizards because lizards are more afraid yeah, of you than they are. No, I don't have fears. Yes, yeah. you do. No, I don't. Yes, and yes, you do. You're scared yes. of dogs and cats. Yes, cats. Yes, you are. Yeah, you are dead. Dogs and that cats. I'm scared of dogs and cats. I'm not. I'm allergic to cats and dogs. There's no, a very not. big difference. Don't listen to you're them. You're not. You're <laughs> not. <liar. laughs> Jaden said I'm lying. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um. Yeah. I'm just gonna head down to the park, and I think Michelle's here somewhere. So hopefully, I may bump into her. Let's see, eh? Okay. So, guess who I bumped into? Hi, I bumped yeah. into. Yeah, I came well, to my stomping okay. yard. Okay, so I was walking past and I could see into her house, and I was like, "There you are!" And she was standing so far away, and I was like, "Ah, oh, you may enter. <laughs> you may enter." Yeah, yeah. So we're back together again. We're together Yay. in the neighborhood. So how do you yeah. like it here? I really like it. It's absolutely amazing for like the children because they yes. just get up and they could just go. They don't disturb me. They don't have don't. like you don't have to watch them. Yeah, like you don't. That's so amazing. That's my favorite part. I know, right? So like, and I just feel like because even though there's cars here, there's not like cars going up and down a lot. No, yeah. So you're not like thinking, oh, but the cars on the roads and no. all of that. Exactly, and everyone knows that there's kids around. Mm. So I think they, you know, yeah. are conscious of that. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, so it's amazing. children are happy. They're like really, really happy. Yeah. In fact, I was saying to them that we have to get ready to start going soon to go back. And like, it's not fair. Oh. It's not fair. You should bring them here sometimes. Oh, I'll come and leave them with you. How about that? I don't I've only got four. That's fine. It's only four, isn't it? So like, that's fine. Yeah, I reckon you have enough space. Hopefully, at that time, I'll have like a nanny lady. Mm -hmm. Listen, they're not gonna be inside my house. <laughs> they're gonna be outdoors. Yeah, yeah, but I'm leaving them to sleep over. I'm not coming here to leave them for the day. And they come can back. sleep outdoors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, what do you normally do when you're here, anyway? Um, stay inside. Yeah. 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 <laughs> do you know that's one thing about Ghana? You have to get used to staying in your house. Because people are yeah. like, oh, let's go do something, let's go do something. But um, you spend you your know money, what? it's done. Things are far-ish in Ghana, right? Yeah. So going places is really like an, a trip. It is. You don't just get up and say, I want to go to the body beach. And this, unless you live near, maybe, if you're yeah. close. But it's like, oh, I'm just too lazy. Yeah. And I'm already doing things that I need to be doing. I, I know, I'm like that as well. I'm, I'm quite, actually quite boring, actually. I think yeah, sometimes I'm a bit boring. I'm so boring. I actually... 
The only thing I do is actually go out at night. I go out at night. Oh, yeah, I've seen you on Instagram. Uh -huh. She's like, again? Again? Yeah. <laughs> or a weekend, no, no. But I go out at night and um, I like to try new restaurants. Like, places I've never had before. It's a nice way to blow off steam as well, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Just sit down and do nothing at a restaurant. Yeah. So that's, that's my weekend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. let's go to your house. She's coming to have a look. So, yeah. Okay, so our time here is just about up. Um, just trying to pack everything up at the moment. Why is it, do you guys see, um, why is it that it's so fun when you're packing to go somewhere, but having to pack up to go back, it feels like you've come with double the amount of stuff that you left, the, yeah, double the amount of stuff that you had in the first place. It's like crazy, like, I don't know, man. I don't even know how we're gonna fit into a car because it feels like we've got so much stuff. We've even got two of the children's bikes because they wanted to come and ride their bikes here, so I don't know. But anyway, I'm really tired and it's just gone light off as well. So, and I don't know how to turn, there is a generator outside, but I don't know how to turn it on. I've never touched a generator in my whole life, so I have no idea. Huh? The generator. The generator is outside. Yeah, so I have um, no idea how to put the generator on. So um, we're just here waiting for the driver to come to pick us up to take us back home. So yeah, hopefully they won't be too long because um, I've got some stuff I need to get on with this afternoon. Yeah. You had fun? Yes, but I don't want to Mommy, Mama, Ami! There's no pool. Our house is boring because there's no pool. So then what you'll have to do is you'll have to find some money and build a pool. That's fair, isn't it? I don't have money. Where am I supposed to get money from? I don't know. You have to find some type of work. I don't have money. So you should get me money. Grow up money tree. The plot of boys. Yes, so guys, um, finally home. It has been a very long day for me, but a very exciting, happy time for the children. They've had so much fun um, at Aimensa. Honestly, it's been a brilliant time for them. Um, and I have to say my most favorite, 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 favorite part is the fact that I could allow the children to go outside by themselves and just have fun. So this morning, before I was even ready to like leave the house, they were like, mom, can we go outside? And so I was happy to just let them go outside because I knew that it was a safe environment for them. Um, and so they just went out to play and when they're ready, they came back and that was it. So really 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 cool for that so i think if you're definitely if you're moving here to ghana and you're looking for a place definitely check out indigo homes so right now they have Aimensa park there so they're also built doing another phase which is called oyarafa park which will be the same kind of lovely community environment that um you have which is Aimensa. so that's exciting um i'll put their details right here so you can go to their website and check out um the homes that they have on offer at the moment they have from two bedroom two bedroom three bedroom and four bedrooms and the starting price is $158,000 so yeah just head over have a look um, like I said if we weren't building our own house that is definitely something that I would look at because I absolutely love the environment for me the environment is absolutely top-notch man it really is it is all about community living there and I love that you know so yeah but anyway, that is the end of today's vlog. I'm very, very tired, so I need to go and put my head down for a little bit, I think. But yeah, anyway, guys, if you haven't already subscribed, please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button for me and the notification bell. And don't forget, please do me a favor and like this video so it goes out to a wider audience. I would really appreciate it. Until next time, I am out. Naughty Papa.